saying? Oh, no, I want to be in everybody's business, ho. Now we in hers. Let's go. But I already woke up how drama looked like, but I'm about to prove. I'm about to prove to y'all this was drama sound off the whole time. Come on. Damn. Okay, here we go. Boom. All right. Let me mirror the screen. We about to read this together. All right, hold on. I want y'all to be able to really see that. Can y'all see it? I may have to put my iPad up to the screen. There we go. Okay, there we go. So you remember this picture that was going around? So we finally compared the picture to the name. So Drama had already admitted that that's her name, right? Kiara. Y'all remember that? Drama sound off uh, two years ago. For the people that don't understand, I was the first person to leak. Uh, I was one of the first people to leak this picture and leak her location, her LLC. I don't know if y'all remember that. I leaked the LLC two years ago when I first got popular on Bigo. Do y'all remember, Angel? What the fuck happened? Hold on. Um, do y'all remember when I first leaked the... um? Her her LLC and I had leaked the address. This was two years ago. Type one if y'all remember. So some of y'all don't remember, but my day ones remember. Y'all know I ain't lying. It's on YouTube two years ago when I first popped off on Google. So uh, I had leaked her information. So she said I was a liar, right? Well, come to find out, my angels did their research today. So shout out to my angels. They did their research and they um, did a side-by-side oh, no, side, side side picture of Drama Sound Off in a picture that I leaked two years ago. So come to find out, Drama Sound Off made it seem like I was lying on her when I leaked her name two years ago. When I come to find out the LLC Drama Sound Off LLC was under Kiara Turner. Kiara Turner lives in New York and we all know Drama Sound Off lives in New York. And we do have the video of her audition too. And that confirmed that this is drama sound off. So it's my screen, my fucking shit is acting dumb. So I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna just show y'all my iPad. So can y'all see this? Like it don't wanna mirror it on the screen for some reason. Let me try one more time. Let's see. It don't matter. It don't have to mirror, bitch. Y'all can see it. Can y'all see that? Take y'all, take y'all pictures, screenshot it. Okay. Now what I need y'all to understand is the reason why the picture is lighter at the bottom is because evidently drama is a different type of lighting and it's a different filter. Do y'all get what I'm saying? Where's my photographers at? If y'all, do we have people that's obsessed with taking pictures? Y'all would know exactly why it's a different type of lighting, but you have to pay attention to the nose and the eyes and the lips. Y'all know I ain't lying. This is the same person. First of all, it would be, it's, it's already, it's not too many cockeyed trolls that only show one eye and got a big ass nose like that and a slinted lip like that and look slow as fuck. We had to narrow it down. It's only one bitch that look like this. It's drama sound off, baby. That's definitely her. It ain't no debunking it. So what I'm about to read to y'all, I'm about to give y'all a story time on drama sound off and what she did to her kids. So since Drama Sound Off and everybody business is 4.3K of y'all in here. And when I exposed Drama Sound Off two years ago, I wasn't Charlie with the T two years ago. I only had 2,000 views in that live. So I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all don't know the true T on Drama Sound Off. So I'm here to give it to y'all. So before I do, let me read what this says. <clears throat> Kiara S. Turner, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice Management. I graduated from college with two degrees. You know how Drama Sound Off always says she got two degrees? That's how y'all know this is drama sound off, right? She brags about graduating from college. So I graduated from college with two degrees, all while parenting an amazing daughter, who is the reason why I push myself even when times get rough. College of Criminal Justice. Now this, this is what gets me about her. Evidently she is a little, you know, smart, but bitch, just cause you got a college degree don't mean you have common sense. This bitch is clearly slow in a lot of other areas, especially real life shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then she's permanently wheelchair bound. But anyway, that's neither here neither there. So let me give y'all the tea on the child. So Drama Sound Off abandoned her kids and she was so disrespectful. When she graduated college, this bitch put this in her um, college bio. I graduated from college with two degrees all while parenting an amazing daughter. Drama Sound Off had five kids. She has two daughters, three sons. So what had happened was Drama Sound Off was in an accident years prior right 
she was in an accident years prior to be gone. And she permanently had got seated in her chair. And so she basically gave up her kids. You know what I'm saying? She had only kept her favorite child, which was the daughter that she mentioned in the college thing, right? So Drama Sound Off kept one child and she got rid of the other children. She gave the children to different family members and she stopped fucking with them. So one of her children actually came on the app and exposed her, but she paid her off. If y'all don't know, I actually interviewed one of Drama Sound Off's daughters, but the girl got paid off by Drama in the middle of my interview and made it seem like it was a fake interview and the girl was a troll. But I did my further research. The girl was actually really Drama Sound Off's daughter. She was Drama Sound Off's youngest daughter that she had abandoned, y'all. This is true tea. If y'all don't remember, y'all can go on my YouTube. Y'all remember that girl? Am I lying, y'all? Type one. It was 2,000, 3,000 of y'all in the interview. Yeah, y'all know I ain't lying. Y'all remember when the girl swiped up? You remember, like, she didn't swipe up. Y'all remember when, you know how you get a phone call and the lines be showing on the screen? So y'all remember when Drama Sound Off had called her phone, the lines were showing. And as soon as she came back, her she switched up the whole story. Yeah, she switched up the whole story, y'all. Mm-hmm, the one that's sick. So this girl, let me spill y'all, let me spill the tea. So this girl has a fucking immune like type of disorder. I don't know the type of disorder it's called when you have, I don't know if I'm saying the right thing. This is like a sensitive topic. So I don't like to sound ignorant when I don't know certain terms. So I'm gonna say it was like a immune, I don't know, somebody correct me. I'm sorry y'all, don't, I'm, I'm lit. I don't wanna say it wrong cause it's kind of like sensitive and you don't never know if like my supporters could have be going through this. So. It ain't to talk about the girl. I'm just educating y'all on what happened. I'm just spilling the tea. So disclaimer, I'm not making fun of that because that's not funny at all. Anybody can have that. But she got the um, T-Boz. What do T-Boz got? T-Boz from TLC, the T-Boz. What, is she, what do T-Boz got, y'all? Somebody tell me, I forgot what it's called. What do T-Boz got? Sickle, oh yeah. So unfortunately, the girl got um, sickle cell or whatever. So um, she was really, and that's how I knew she wasn't lying because she was crying out, like telling me like she was abandoned. Her mama just left her out there alone and she just so mad and upset. Like drama sound off caused a wave of generational curses in her family. And my thing is what's fucked up about drama sound off is she's all on the internet and everybody's business talking about everybody's parenting, saying how she gonna get sued down, calling CBS on sue, but bitch, you gave up your kids. And then you gave up your daughter that has sickle cell. And we, and we supporting this. So it's the reason why Drama Sound Off is bitter and upset. It's the reason why Drama Sound Off is bitter and upset and angry at people like me. She wanted to tear down and tear apart my relationship with my angels. She wanted to come for me. Then she's trying to push this narrative that I have an issue with black women. Baby, I'm one of the only gay people on this app. One of the only gay few people on this app that uplift my black women. And I shout out my black women. I appreciate them. For one, I would never be in the position that I'm in without my black queens. Let's be all the way motherfucking clear. And let's be 100 about it. The gays don't support me over here. I'm not loyal to the gays on this app. That's why they don't like me. They don't like my attitude. I'm a real bitch. I support my motherfucking queens because my queens support me, babes. I wouldn't even be hitting boxes without my queens. And I hate when people get on this app and act like, oh, the girls don't, the women don't support. It'd be the gays. No, the fucking black women, yes, the fuck they do. 90% of my supporters and my following, it's always been black women, baby. That's where the honey, they, so please, I don't never question y'all bag. Y'all bag is pure, authentic, real, solidified, okay? It's been, y'all bag been solidified. Y'all been uplifting me, making sure I was good for two years. This ain't no game, honey. I know my following. I know my demographic over here. And I know 90%, really almost like 98%, most of my following is black women. And they be so mad. And the first thing they do when they beef with me is be like, Charlie don't like black women. And they say that to try to make y'all feel like I don't like black women. But y'all know that's not. How the fuck can't, how the fuck I don't like where I come from? Bitch, that don't even make sense. Like, they don't have no tea on me. Drama sound off was just on live. Yeah, he don't like black women. He be using his supporters. He be da da da. Drama, you don't get no fucking support, bitch. That's why I'm exposing you right now. Because you talk about everybody. 
You talk about everybody as if your shit don't stink. You abandoned your four kids and you only kept one. That's because you only deal with black people, duh. What? That don't even make, like, bitch, that don't even make sense. It's black people that deal with black people all the time and they hate them. It's black people that deal with black people all the time and they kill them. So don't come in here with that. That don't even make sense. But, um, yeah, y'all. Crazy though, how drama sound off really tried to play in my face. She really tried to play in my face, y'all. Then she act like she a man girl. You can't be a man girl when you don't have your kids. I'm sorry, y'all. A man girl to me is somebody in real life that's applying pressure. You can't be talking about you a man girl on this app and you ain't a man woman in real life. You ain't handling man woman responsibilities. Where's your chitlins? Where's your children, ho? Where's your children drama? This is the real drama sound of. Y'all see her? Y'all see that wondering eye? That bitch got that one wondering eye. Now y'all see why she only came up and showed that one eye. Woo, child. Oh my God. So that's why Kiara S. Turner, AKA drama sound off, being everybody business, bitch. She lied at her college and she said she graduated from college. Well, she did graduate from college with two degrees, but she lied and said she was parenting an amazing daughter who is the reason why she pushed herself every day, but she failed to mention her other four kids that she abandoned when she was permanently placed in that chair, doing the cat daddy, bitch. When she was permanently placed in that chair, cat daddy, bitch, I go to work. Cat bitch, she permanently doing that. You know what I'm saying? So, bitch, when you was permanently cat daddying around your motherfucking house, bitch, in New York, that you be bragging about with the roaches, bitch, the roach friendly apartment. You remember the apartment that got all them roach kids, but ain't got none of your kids in there that you produced out your pussy, but you gave them up, ho, in that roach friendly cot. So while you was cat daddy in it, you know what I'm saying, doing your, you know what I'm saying, your little permanent willies in your house and shit. You was going around doing popping willies and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, doing your little tricks and shit, ho. You forgot to mention that you gave up your other kids, bitch. Speak on your kids' drama sound off before you speak on me, bitch. Before you speak on me, speak on the four that you get rid of. Speak on the four. I'm challenging you, ho. Since you wanted clout, I'm speaking on you with 4,000 views. You ain't never had this many views to save your life, drama. You fell off. Y'all remember when drama sound off used to almost be my competition? She was never my competition. But y'all remember when she, at least, was almost my competition? Y'all remember the days when she was almost my competition? When she used to almost get... Like 1.5K, 1 point. She fell off. She was my understudy. You really dropped the ball. Drama, you dropped the ball. And I'm really sick of you hoes who come in here saying, oh, Tay, Tay formula, Tay formula. But well, Tay's no longer here. Tay, let me tell y'all something about Tay. And I ain't really going to talk about him like that because he's unemployed. Y'all keep mentioning Tay, Tay this, Tay that. Let me tell y'all something. Tay was just begging to line me the other day. That's how much he fell off. I remember when Tay used to be exclusive. He used to only sit with people. He's coming on my app to beg to line me. Crown on my head. Decline. Moving on. I don't, I don't argue with girls that's trying to be placed on YouTube to argue with a main girl on Bigo. You're a girl of the past, bitch. We don't give a fuck about the shit you did in the past, bitch. We're talking about the now. Okay. You are no longer Bigo. You the same bitch that forced camera in them to do a weird ass, cocky ass tribute to you when you ain't even been on Bigo as a host for a year, bitch. You're delusional, ho, and then you gonna try to throw shade at me talking about, oh, I don't argue with Charlie because Charlie only got one platform. Well, bitch, I got one platform and you ain't got none. I got one platform where you ain't got none, Tay. I know you don't think YouTube is your platform when you only sitting on 200 views on YouTube. Let's be real. Let's be all the way real because when other people went to YouTube, like Keith and him, Keith was getting 5, 600, 700, 800, 900 views over there. So like I said, don't talk about platforms. When Keith went to tag, that nigga had like 20,000 views on his live. That is what you call platforms following you. You don't have, you don't have that, Tay. You flopped. 
Shut the fuck up. Be quiet. Stay in your place. I ain't arguing with you, boo. I don't argue with a bitch that flop. When you got fired and you try to go to YouTube, you flop. I ain't arguing with you, boo. Fuck you. Go play with a child. Go play with a child. Hold on. Play with me. Play with your pussy. Play with a child. Go do what you like to do. You know you like to play with kids. Molester. All right. Let me add the people up in the queue. Y'all, can y'all share the live? Double tap the screen. Can y'all send a bean, please? Can y'all send a bean? I'm going to add. I'm, why am I so hype, y'all? Why am I so Charlie, energetic right now? What's up? Charlie, We I just want to say, we all know that's a lie. Obviously, you don't feel that way to a black woman. Yesterday, some gay guy came on your live trying to talk. Your live and you always defend black women even though you don't have a good relationship with your mom like you always admit like what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong so we all know you ain't fake no shade oh no my bad my um y'all didn't hear what she said she was saying a uh, gay dude came on my live and he was disrespecting one of my aunties i y'all know i call my older angels like my women black older women or whoever's older like my um bigo aunties so you know, I wasn't finna let that go down. It was a gay dude on my live yesterday talking about, Aunt, lady, shut the fuck up. You're old, bitch. Be quiet. He just kept demeaning her, and I'm sitting there on pause because he didn't think I was going to go off because he don't know how I am. And so he was just, he kept disrespecting her, and she was paying it, and I just went the fuck off, and then I kicked him out, and I blocked him. Bitch, you better have respect for my motherfucking people over here, ho. I don't know who the fuck you think this is, but you ain't finna come over in my motherfucking life and disrespect the people that make sure I'm good when they don't have to. I'm pretty sure y'all got responsibilities and things y'all got to do. Bitch, y'all adopted a whole fucking internet nephew. Bitch, I'm y'all family, and y'all my family too. Y'all not finna fucking let nobody disrespect me. I'm not finna let nobody come up in my motherfucking box and disrespect y'all. The fuck? Bitch, like I said, y'all my aunties, some of y'all my mamas, my cousins my sisters and brothers right. hey boo real quick but y'all go to work true winner <laughs> check out a nigga cat daddy you hit that shit but um no you had read my comment and i want to clear it up i have said you only deal with blacks i meant you only it's only like a lot of black people on this comment i mean on this oh. uh on this app that's what i meant so you know, you. that's why they say you only beef with black women. Because, oh, I mean, okay. it's, that's all we are on this fucking app. It's a whole bunch of black bitches and black niggas. So, that's what I meant. I didn't Oh, mean I'm that. sorry, baby. I misunderstood. You but, went the fuck off on and, me, and let me. No, I'm sorry, Queen. But let me clear this up. Because people always say I only fight black women. When have I fought? Lo is not even a black woman. I fought the that's person a I fought in real life was niggas. So that's a nigga. Lo a nigga. That's, right. that's a Bigfoot nigga. Okay. I guess we just not delusional over here. I know people consider low, some delusional mental ill people consider low a woman. But if y'all consider low a woman, you must be mental or something. Because low is not a woman, baby. I'm sorry. I guess I'm a real bitch with it. And I'm gay, so I can say it uncut and raw without being canceled. Bitch, bitch y'all trans, y'all don't even support me, girl. I said what I said, transformer. Who gonna check me, bitch? I'll say it for my motherfucking support, transformer, tranny. Bitch, footwear, bitch, transmission. Hey, Charlie. Hey, hey angels. Hey, babe. So, um, to titties that dropped, like, I just want to kind of educate you for a second on that term black. We should start calling our people melanated people, melanasians, melanins, because that term black is very, like, it's times it's changing. People don't like being called black. So when you say black, you got to be careful because black people, we don't, they don't, they don't exist. You are I melanated. No, yeah. I cause like saying, on the paper, they won't try to say we black, but y'all don't understand what I'm trying to say on the application. They ask you, what are you? And they say black African American now. So y'all be careful with that term. Just saying respectfully. I think she do. She no got a point depending black on how y'all look at it. Black people, black people, we got to claim being black. Everybody 
claim what they are. Spanish people stick together. Asian people stick together. Bitch, white people gonna ride it down. Uh, bitch, we black. Bitch, we gotta stick together. It's nothing wrong with being black. Mm. You know, when we was younger sometimes, people used to say, like, oh, I'm just black. You just say, you don't gotta say, oh, you just black. Just say, I'm black. Don't say you just black like you ashamed of being black. We black. And but you know it. what's crazy? What I guess I'm backwards because I actually prefer being called black over African American. I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm tripping, but I actually prefer black being called black, black over African American, y'all. I don't know why. It's just something mm -hmm. about being because I don't claim American. America. I don't claim like, America like uh, it's like that's not so what I'm claiming. I'd rather backwards. claim black before America. Like no shit. Yeah, I correct people. They be like, girl, what? And then this is the thing. I don't like how, like, the people on the outside think every black person is African-American. I'm like, black people, we are diverse. Maybe that's why I don't like being called African-American. Okay, I just answered it. I think the reason why I don't like being called African-American is because we as a whole, black people are diverse, just like white folks can be. Bitch, Haitians, Jamaicans. Like, girl, you don't know that we African-American. That's low-key disrespectful. Girl, there's some people that's Haitian-American over there. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. So, hey Charlie, diverse. how are you doing? What's up, boo? You I'm are good. very respectful, and I've been watching you ever since you, you know, had that little issue with Tay and Dreyonce. They did you dirty, and you coming back on top, and now they want to rock with you. Fuck them. Um, and another thing, I'm black. Okay, I don't know what the hell. I wasn't born in Africa. I'm not African American. Okay, if I go to Africa, I will be African American, but I'm black. Okay. I don't even fuck what nobody said. This melanated thing just started popping two, three years ago. We didn't know nothing about being melanated five years, six years ago. I'm black and proud to be black. Okay? So y'all can put a motherfucking uh, 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 sugar coated all you want to. I am B-L-A-C-K and proud of it. Thank you. And whoever is not, fuck you. Go to the white side. Love you, Charlie. So, all right, I'm going to add one more person up, and then we're going to move back into the tea, y'all, because we got a um, few more topics to get into. Can we get some gifts, y'all? Can y'all follow me and share the live? I hope y'all enjoying the live, y'all. This is a spare the moment live because Angelica was talking about me. So I was like, bitch, let me go live. What's up, boo? Hey, Charlie, I just wanted you to look at my profile picture. <laughs> Bitch, oh my god, not y'all. It took her face and oh, you are child. Lex, get in a corner, bitch. Go in a corner, girl. You playing too fucking much, girl. You playing too motherfucking much. Period. All right, so we about to move into the next topic. If you enjoying the show, type one. Let me know, y'all. Let's get some interaction in the comments. Let me motherfucking know. This is a spare the moment live. None of this was planned. And like I said, tomorrow morning, most of these topics tonight will be on tomorrow's show. So I really gave you Charlie with a T a little early. I was going to say these topics for tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, bitch, let me get on live since these hoes want to keep speaking on me. So did y'all know TT and Royce got into it yesterday, y'all? Did y'all know Royce and TT got into it? Please turn off the TV. It's distracting. Girl, the TV is going to stay on. I'm about to do some topics. Did you not hear me? The fuck? Royce versus TT. Um... Let's get into it. This shit was actually T, y'all. It was very interesting. You could tell Royce and TT. Let me say this. I already knew Royce and TT didn't have a good relationship. I didn't know for a fact, but I, you can kind of tell how women, I grew up in a house of sisters. I can tell it was tension. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could just tell, no, they're real sisters, baby. Real, real sisters. I can tell there's tension because I grew up in a house of sisters. I know how girls are. You could tell Royce and CT don't really sit around each other. Like, they're not each other's cup of tea. Like, I feel like they love each other, but they're definitely not each other's cup of tea. I don't know if, am I the only one that caught that? I, I may be the only one that caught that, but okay. Let's move into it. Let's get into the tea. I want y'all to take a look, and we're going to see whose side are y'all on, who do y'all feel like is right, wrong. I feel like I understand both sides. Let me shut the fuck up. I'm going to let y'all watch. Why I'm shutting the fuck up, can y'all 